Hello Hylians! Today we're going to learn how to transform one item into a different item. This is a great glitch you can use to change a common material like wood into something rare like giant ancient cores. I did not discover this, but I did learn this from Limcube. Check the card in the corner or the link in the description to see the video I learned it from. And check out his YouTube, he also streams on Twitch. Again, links will be in the description. I'll explain how it works, I'll explain all the problems that I went through when trying to do this, and how to get through them. <laughs> the glitch can be done anywhere, but if you plan on doing this glitch over and over, like suggested by Limcube, it seems to be a pretty good idea to do it at the Rito stable. You'll see why later in the video. Also, it would be nice to do it at nighttime because we'd like Beetle to be inside the stable. First, you have to empty your inventory from the material that you want to duplicate. In this case, I'm going to use giant ancient cores. I'm going to drop them all on the ground. Then you have to overload your menu. I will now show a clip of one of my old videos explaining how to overload the menu. If you already know how, you can skip to the next part. Check the links in the description for the timestamps. You need to equip Link with a multi-shot bow and a lightning arrow. Go to the overworld, make sure Link is holding the bow. This is a common detail that people forget to do. Go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Do this until Link looks funny or disappears, and now the menu is overloaded. For multi-shot bows, you can defeat some Lynels, or go to the shrine by the Yiga hideout. You should fight one foot soldier on the way to the hideout, then drop down the cliff for another. Then, three of them in front of the hideout. And one more bow laying on the ground inside the entrance of the Yiga clan hideout. If you need a 7th bow, you can either go to the end of the hideout for another duplex bow, or go to the small cave in the Lineru wetlands. There is the forest dweller bow inside there. After the menu is overloaded, go to the material that you want transformed. I'm going to use wood. You need to have at least 6. Hold 5 of them, then you can pick up the bows you used for overloading. You don't need to do this part, but if you look in your inventory, you'll see that Link is holding invisible materials. And that's what you want. Again, you don't have to check if you know you overloaded correctly. Either way, go sell your wood. From here, whatever new item you pick up that isn't in your inventory is what the invisible items will become. So I'll pick up all the giant ancient cores, and when I press X in the inventory, Link will put the invisible items in his pocket and they'll become giant ancient cores. Now I have 5 extra giant ancient cores. Now before you go on your merry way to do this glitch, there are a few things you may need to know. This glitch will work fine if you just want 15 of a material. If you want more than that, you're gonna have a problem. If Link drops 10 items, they will all be on the ground. But when Link drops an 11th item, the first item will disappear. So you can never have more than 10 items dropped unless you do the floating item glitch. Here's another clip from a previous video explaining how to do the glitch. I specifically speak about fairies, but it's done the same way with any material that you use. Again, feel free to skip it if you know how to do it. Turn on your camera rune, then go in your inventory. Have Link carry as many fairies as you need. Then this part is a tricky part. Very quickly leave the inventory, drop the fairies, and go back into the inventory. So you quickly press plus A plus. Then hold an item and leave the inventory. When you leave the inventory, the glitch should work. So a couple things when doing this part. If you've pressed plus A plus and Link is still carrying the fairies in the inventory, then you pressed A too soon or you didn't press A at all. You basically didn't wait long enough after leaving the inventory for Link to drop the fairies. Now if you try the glitch and the fairies fly away, 
Then you've pressed the second plus after pressing A too late. You have to go right into the inventory very quickly after Link drops the fairies. So you should basically go plus A plus, as if A plus is almost at the same time, but plus is still second. If you do this correctly, you will see the fairies are basically stuck together, floating in the air. Now collecting these fairies is a little weird. Link will pick them up like he picks up an object. Then you can drop them. The fairies will be loose, so now you can grab them as normal. Now that you know how the glitch works, you basically do this glitch until you have 10 or less of the material in your inventory. Then you can drop the remaining materials on the ground and continue the material transformation glitch. One more thing. When doing the floating item glitch, you may come across two problems. First, the floating items may float up to the ceiling. If this happens, just leave it. Continue the item transformation glitch, and when you want to pick up the floating items, you can use a heavy metal weapon to bounce them around or push them down, and hopefully you get them closer to the ground. If you try a weapon and the items don't move, that weapon wasn't heavy enough. The next problem is that if they don't float up to the ceiling, the floating items will usually be too high for Link to pick up. So what you'll need to do is use a weapon anyway to push them down. Or use something like an amiibo chest to stand on top of. That way you'll be high enough to pick it up. Or you can put them on a lower slope like the steps of the stable. This way, Link can be on the top step and then pick them up. Just make sure they're not too far away outside from the stable because if they do fly up, they'll fly up forever. And now a few notes that have come up on my multiple tries for this glitch. The reason I did this glitch in the Rito stable is because there's lots of wood outside. When you pick up the floating items, make sure you don't throw them, or they will leave forever. Also, don't drop them while you're moving, or they will be put in some weird state where they will become unpickupable. If you didn't already know, if you drop some critters or fairies, they will fly away. So you'd have to do the floating item glitch if you want to duplicate them. When you try to overload a second time, it sometimes doesn't work. You can try holding an elemental rod, that helps the game overload. If not, just pick everything up and try again. And if not again, save and reload. But the best note of all, when you pick up the floating materials, they will always try to return to the location that they were glitched. So you can use this to launch materials for absolutely no reason. Go try it. It's fun. Except it doesn't work with critters. Don't try to launch them. If you're like me and you want to get 999 of all materials, it still will take some time to do it even with this glitch. Honestly, this glitch kind of makes me not want to do it anymore. But there are many other reasons and other ways to use this glitch. So I hope you found this helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. See you next time.